The Information Design Tool is a new modeling tool for the semantic layer. It provides an interface that enables you to manipulate metadata from relational and OLAP sources, and to create and deploy SAP Business Objects universes. In this tutorial, you will review the elements that make up the interface for the Information Design Tool. Note that this tutorial was recorded using SAP Business Objects Information Design Tool 4.0, version 14.0.0, v2010-1019-0760. To navigate, use the viewer controls. You can perform most tasks by choosing options from the menu bar. Additional menu bar options appear depending on the navigation view selected. Note that any available keyboard shortcuts are also displayed in the menus. The toolbar provides easy access to the most frequently used features and navigation views in the Information Design Tool. The toolbar also includes toggle icons that activate specialized navigation views, local projects, project synchronization, repository resources, integrity problems, and the security editor. The local projects view allows you to create and navigate local projects, and open resources in the information design tool. Selecting objects in this view opens additional views in the main window. A local project is a folder structure that contains the metadata resources for universe, connection, data foundation, and business layer. You can show or hide the local projects view using the toggle button on the toolbar. The connection view allows you to create and modify a new relational or OLAP connection. The view provides general data access information, login parameters, and table and column values of the data source you are connecting to. The business layer view displays different property aspects within the business layer, depending on which subview is selected, business layer, query properties, parameters and lists of values, or navigation paths. The business layer subview allows you to create, modify, and organize a collection of metadata objects that map to SQL or MDX definitions in a database, such as columns, views, database functions, or pre-aggregated calculations. The metadata objects include dimensions, hierarchies, measures, attributes, and predefined conditions. Each object corresponds to a unit of business information that can be manipulated in a query to return data. The Queries subview allows you to create, modify, and execute queries based on business layer objects and filters. This allows you to test and view data results based on created business layer components. The Parameters and Lists of Values subview allows you to create lists of values associated with business layer objects and parameters that prompt users in their reporting tools. In the Navigation Paths subview, you can create and modify hierarchies. These hierarchies form the available drill paths for users in their reporting tools. The Data Foundation view displays different property aspects within the Data Foundation, depending on which subview is selected, connection, Data Foundation, aliases and contexts, parameters and lists of values, or universe summary and description. The Connection subview displays the details of the connections used to build the Data Foundation. You can navigate the tables and columns available in the data source used for each connection. The Data Foundation subview contains a schema of relevant tables and joins from one or more relational databases that are used as a basis for one or more business layers. You reference relational connections in the Data Foundation and insert tables and joins from the databases referenced in the connections. You can enhance the Data Foundation by adding derived tables, alias tables, calculated columns, additional joins, contexts, prompts, and lists of values. The availability of some features depends on the data foundation type. You can build any number of business layers on the same data foundation, making it the basis for multiple universes. The aliases and context subview allows you to add alias tables and specify contexts. Aliases and contexts may be required to avoid and resolve potential loops in the structure. Join paths for each context are shown in different colors in the structure. The Parameters and Lists of Values subview allows you to create list of values based on database tables and columns in the Data Foundation, and create user prompts associated with these Data Foundation lists of values. 
the Properties subview allows you to view the summary details of all data foundation components used, and enables you to enter an optional universe description that becomes available to users in their reporting tools. The Project Synchronization view allows you to compare the resources of a local project with an associated shared project on the repository server. Synchronization detects added and deleted resources, and differences between the resources. Based on the differences detected, you can update the local and shared resources. The Project Synchronization view displays synchronization information in two panes. The Shared Project pane lists the resources in the shared project on the server, and the Synchronization Status pane lists the status of each local and shared resource. The Integrity Problems view allows you to view any potential universe integrity errors and warnings. Depending on the resource selected in the project, the pane displays connection, data foundation, or business layer errors and warnings. Double-click any of the listed errors or warnings to open the relevant problem area for you to troubleshoot. The Repository Resources view allows you to navigate to and interact with the resources in repositories. The Connections folder contains secured connections, and the Universes folder contains published universes. The Security Editor toggle icon opens a new session dialog box for logging on to a central management system. Once the session is defined, it is retained in the session view in the repository resources view. Several sessions can be open at the same time, as long as the sessions are on different CMS systems. You have successfully reviewed the interface for the information design tool. This is the end of the tutorial.